Hi there, it's Angela Prophet, your celebrity wedding planner and designer. And I want to be the first to say congratulations on investing in yourself and getting ready to plan the wedding of your dreams. And welcome to how to plan your wedding like a celebrity without breaking the bank. And I'm sure you've had so many people congratulate you and lots and lots of people that want to help you and give you advice. But how many of them have actually professionally planned or designed a wedding before? One of my favorite sayings is, don't take advice from someone who actually hasn't done it themselves. The best guidance comes from those of us who actually have real experiences to share. I've got over 20 years of experience that I have bundled up in this program that I want to share with you to make sure you have an amazing wedding planning experience. A quick introduction, a little bit about me and my why. I went to school to be a psychologist. I love people. I love helping people. But really, my why has spiraled out of control in a really good way over the years that I have been in the wedding industry. So my why not only stems from helping others, but in college, my last week of clinicals, I was about to graduate and my computer got a virus. I actually lost everything. I thought my life was so important. And looking back almost two decades ago, I can't believe the time has flown so quickly. It was really a seed that God was planting in my head to help prepare me for being an entrepreneur and running a business. Getting a virus on my computer and me losing everything really taught me how to be paperless, how to put documents in the cloud, and how to make sure nothing ever lives on my computer so that I don't ever lose it. Can you imagine spending hours and hours and hours of putting your guest list together and then your computer crashing and you lose that document? It's a little bit of an empty feeling. Not the end of the world, but it's a lot of time lost. So you know that saying, when it rains, it pours? Well, that happened that week. So after my computer got a virus and I had to start all over, I did graduate on time, by the way. My car was broken into. My purse was stolen. And what was in my purse? Nope, didn't care about the wallet. Didn't care about the credit cards or my cash. I cared about my planner because without my planner and without my to-do list, I simply felt like a lost child. And again, I thought my life was so important back then, but I didn't know that God was setting me up to later plan millions and millions and millions of details that came along with dollars to help others plan the wedding of their dreams. And last but not least, one of the major tragedies slash opportunities I like to talk about is the Nashville flood and how Nashville flooded back in May of 2010. This is a picture of Interstate 24. No, it is not Photoshop. This was a real picture, people. And oh my gosh, I was asking the Lord, why would you do this to some of my amazing brides? We had to change venues. Some of the weddings had to be canceled. We had to reschedule them. It was really a time of uncertainty for me in my career. But you know what? They all worked out. The couples are still married and going strong. So before we jump into the content, I want to lay a few house rules. And you know what? I really don't like rules. However, for you to get the best experience, here are a few pointers. Be sure that you have a really great Wi-Fi solid connection so the videos don't cut out on you. If I'm going too fast or if you find yourself falling asleep or you're tired, pause the videos. Do not rush through this content because it's super important that you understand the value of what you are investing in your life and in this journey that you are taking together as a couple. And of course, I want you to take notes. 
And if you don't use your notes on your phone and if your notes aren't backed up in the cloud and you've got to use pen and paper, totally fine. But take a picture of that piece of paper and make sure it's backed up to the cloud or at least save it in Evernote. Just make sure that you've got your notes backed up. I'm going to quickly run through the overview of the topics that I'm going to cover throughout this program. Be sure that you do download the videos and the templates if you want to keep them long term. It will expire from one year from the date that you download. And if you have any questions at all, please, please, please do not hesitate. Reach out to me and ask. My email is connect, C-O-N-N-E-C-T, at Angela Profit. P-R-O-F-F-I-T-T dot com. So what are you going to learn in this program? Because I know there's a ton of free resources out there on checklists and what you need to ask your vendors and how to plan a wedding. But I'm here to tell you that you are getting two decades of experience rolled up into one easy eight step process that I have been using for a very long time. And guess what? I know it works if you follow it. So the eight seeds to plant when planning your wedding, communication, ideas, budget, guest, checklist, vendors, decor, and experience. Those are the eight seeds that you're going to want to plant when starting to plan the wedding. Now, let me give you a couple of examples. So planting the seeds, here we go. On communication, we're gonna talk about how to create an effective communication plan. So you'll know how to communicate and handle the different types of personalities with your family, your friends, and even your vendors. We're going to talk about a lot of different ideas, but mainly how to identify those ideas And what's a priority versus what's just nice to have? Okay, our favorite subject, budget. Let's think about budget as allocation and maximizing your budget. How are you going to maximize your budget? We are going to go through a ton of tips for you and things that it's just good to know. All right, it's all about the guest, right? It's it's mainly all about the couple and you and you're getting married and you're the center of attention, but you're surrounded by people who love you and who want to support you in beginning your life together. So how exactly are you going to exceed their expectations? Going back to great communication, we're going to dig a lot deeper into that. Now, we all need a good old checklist, right? for the planning process. But if you don't have 12 months, which most of those checklists out there, they give you 12 months. If you have more time or less time, don't flip out. We have planned some amazing weddings in actually less than a month. So all of the tips in this program are going to help guide you no matter how far out or how close you are to planning your wedding. Choosing the right vendors, It's not all about the money, okay? So we're going to talk about tips for that. Also, decor, tips and tricks. There's some really cool things that you can do that give that wow factor that you may want. And then driving the overall experience. Again, you want to have a great planning experience. You want to have a great wedding planning process so that when it gets to the weekend of your wedding, everybody has a blast. Why should you listen to me? Well, I've published several books just to give you an idea for couples. I've published Gems Unveiled, which you should have received with this program. It talks all about communication, which I will be discussing the high-level overview in our first module. Each year we publish a floor plan, decor, and design inspiration book of floor plans that we've created for our clients and how it has come to life in sharing pictures. And 47 Tips for Wedding Planning Volume 1. We're actually working on Volume 2 and we're so close to releasing that. So there's a ton of resources out there online to help couples 
plan their wedding and have a wonderful experience. And come on, let's lower the stress. Who needs more stress in their life? We've been featured on several television shows and networks, ABC Family, TLC, E! Entertainment Television, CMT, Country Music Television, WeTV, and a daytime talk show called Pickler and Ben, just to name a few. We've been featured in many, many, many magazines, such as Us Weekly, People Magazine, People Magazine, The Special Events Magazine, Success Magazine, and some of those magazines really highlighted some of the most amazing opportunities that we got to plan and design. For example, doing Jason Aldean and Brittany Kerr's wedding in Mexico, working with Hillary Scott from Lady Antebellum and her husband Chris Tyrell in New York, Kelly Pickler and Kyle Jacobs in Antigua, and a little private island called Jumby Bay, and Patrick Carney, drummer of the Black Keys to Sweet Emily. I loved planning their wedding in the backyard of their amazing home. It was such an honor to be highlighted in Success Magazine for business best practices and being paperless and really driving the technology experience for the couples that we have the opportunity to work with. And being highlighted in Special Events Magazine as 40 Under 40. It's such a humbling experience to be able to help other professionals in my field. The wedding field! Okay, full disclosure, I'm going to be sharing some key experiences and what has worked for me as a business owner, a wedding planner, and a wedding designer. The good times, the bad, and I'm going to be sharing all types of experiences with you. This is not an overnight quick fix, plan your wedding overnight, but rather a guide on how to navigate the planning process. And you know what? The results are going to vary based on your experience and based on how you use this program. I'm not sure if you're feeling a little bit lost or a little bit overwhelmed or a lot overwhelmed, but I'm here to tell you that I promise this program will ensure that you will have direction. I do want to remind you, you got to be flexible sometimes. You've got to go with the flow. And one of my favorite sayings is without rain, nothing grows. Learn to embrace the storms of your life. The top question, how much time is it going to take to plan my wedding and what's it going to cost? Well, you know what? We don't have a crystal ball, unfortunately. And there's so many factors that play into that. For example, where do you live? Where's your wedding taking place? What is the average household income? How many guests are you inviting? Is it a daytime wedding, a nighttime wedding? Are you serving alcohol? How much food are you having? What is the decor going to look like? And yes, these things take so much time to build, which is where an experienced wedding planner and designer can really help you. However, I know that some of you listening today, you want to drive this experience yourself or you simply feel as though you just can't afford it. Let's be honest. And this is one of the reasons that I'm super passionate about trying to help everyone who actually values hearing from someone who's had these experiences, who's gone through the trenches. And so hopefully by the end of this program, in terms of time and cost, you will feel that you are set on the right track to planning your wedding. A couple tips quickly before we jump in. Scheduling. Block time on your calendar. And I'm actually going to show you a screenshot from my own calendar just so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about. So instead of playing phone tag with vendors, your minister, your planner, your parents, schedule phone calls. It's going to be extremely efficient and a lot less stressful when you're playing phone tag with someone. 
And let me tell you something else. Texting's great. However, a lot of stuff can be misread through text message based on your personality. There's a great video texting app called Marco Polo that's free and extremely, extremely helpful when it comes to communication. But again, instead of playing phone tag, consider scheduling phone calls. Just don't simply answer the phone whenever it rings. You're not in the right time frame or the frame of mind a lot of times because most couples, they're working, they're busy. Planning their wedding is not their full-time job. And trust me, I understand it can be a full-time job. So really consider blocking time on your calendar. For example, I know this is blurry, it's on purpose. So different colors on my company calendar mean different things. So be sure that you have a variety of time. Don't just spend all your life for the entire time that you're planning your wedding on planning your wedding. It can literally drive you nuts. And I know you've heard the term bridezilla, groomzilla, momzilla, and I'm hoping After you watch my communications module, you will understand how to reframe and step back. And I really want to challenge you to set aside specific wedding planning times on your calendar together as a couple and with your parents or your family and friends. Distractions, distractions, distractions. You want to push them out. You don't want to be distracted while you're trying to plan your wedding. Trust me. I'm going to say it again. If people want to help and they want to give you advice, say thank you so much. Don't entertain an argument. And again, if they've never done it before, be careful who you listen to. So if there's something that you want or you're trying to negotiate or discuss with someone, shut out the distractions so you can focus. So it's that time. It's that time to shut out the distractions and jump into module one, seed one, communication. Want more? Well, you got to visit the link and it's case sensitive. So type the link exactly the way you see it below. It's bit.ly slash capital D-I-Y lowercase wedding planning. So bit.ly slash DIY wedding planning. And I'll see you on the other side. Have a great day. 